slow down. As soon as we hit the gray right there, we like a car. Okay, so we got unloaded at the Navy base, but we was not able to get any video. Uh, as soon as we pulled in the gate, we had to shut off all of our electronic devices, our phones, cameras, GPS, everything. Um, they even wanted us to turn off our people net, which we're not able to do, so um, they let us leave that on. So Anyway, now we are um, getting ready to head down towards LA. Yeah, what was going on here that made it boom and then all of a sudden just yeah. turned to this? I would like to like buy a town like this. Not mm -hmm. it up. I wish I had a lot of money. I would. I would, I would buy a town like this. Yeah, I don't know if anybody lives here or not. All the windows and doors are boarded.
love the desert and the mountains. Love it. I know it's not for everybody. A lot of people think it's ugly, but I don't. I could live here out in the middle of nowhere and I would be perfectly happy out in the middle of the desert. Perfectly happy. I would be content in my life. So that's it, I guess. we just realized that um, we didn't even do a video when we first picked up this load so what we had was a load from all steel and muscatine we picked that up and we brought it out here to China Lake California and Donna was acting like it was all top secret but it's the Naval Air Weapons Station is where we took it to um, and once we got it out there the thing she was talking about that was pretty cool was that the stuff that we had was going to the FA-18 Advanced Weapons Laboratory. So we was able to go into there. Well, somewhat into there. We weren't able to go into the area where they're making all the stuff and that. But um, we, were supposed to, we were able to go into the building itself there. Um, so it was pretty cool. And like she said, they had the FA-18s flying over. And they had some A-10 Warthogs, which... We know those from when we lived in Tucson because we lived by Davis Monthan Air Force Base there. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to finish up with that and that way you guys know what we had and where we came from and all that. And like she said, we're heading over by LA tomorrow uh, to pick up a load and that's going back to Wisconsin. 